currently driving and talking. I'm heading to the sales barn right now. I'm gonna start filling the barn up. So I got approximately 60 stalls open that I could put calves in. I have room for more. But we can talk about that some other time. Um, I'm not gonna get any footage of me buying calves. Ryan already has footage of that from the last time we bought them. I'm gonna be more focused on bidding than worry about running the camera. But my co-pilot's in here with me. I kind of felt bad for Rocket putting him in the back, so he's curled up on the floor just hanging out. Once I get him home, I just spent the last hour bedding down the barn. I was a little busy with that, and it's, it was kind of dusty. I should have had a dust mask on. I'll remember that for next time. But you'll you'll see uh, the calves bedded in. I got to give them their shots. Now, everything I can do to make sure that they. Uh, they survive on us. I feel a lot more confident raising calves now than what I did a few years ago. I got a bunch last year from a supplier and three quarters of them end up having uh, bad lungs. I can't remember what the name of the term it was now, but they just started dropping like flies on me, so I had one posted and its lungs were black. It, I don't know. Vet said there's nothing I could do for them. So. so that's why you're seeing me uh, buying calves from the sales barn myself. I want to be the judge as to whether or not I, I buy a calf or take a calf home. It worked out pretty well. I haven't lost any yet. I will lose some. I can about guarantee you that I will lose at least one out of this next group of calves I'll be raising. Not that I'm crazy about it. It's farming. Things do not go the way you plan, ever. Because I'd be a little bit kind of sketched out if everything actually went my way the way I planned it. The only thing that's guaranteed in farming is stress and death. But I guess if you can't handle it, I guess you don't do it. So, I'm getting tired of rambling. I'm running up to Sloan's because I gotta interrogate the parts guy up there. Pay my outstanding bill. We'll be sitting pretty good for a while. Give it a few days and I'll have a bill up there again. Juniors. <whistles> See? They're like dogs. This is nowhere near as close enough to the calves I need, so I'm going to be going to the sales barn for a couple more weeks at least. But these guys are pretty mellow. Half of them actually loaded themselves. I only bought 12 today. There's, what, 37? That was at the sale today. Um, I bought approximately a third of them, give or take. By the time you take out, you know, other people that are bidding on them, and not every calf that comes to the sales barn is uh, necessarily a calf you want to bring home. So a third out of 37, I think, is actually a pretty good number. I mean, I'm still 48 short of where I want to be. I wish I could have bought more today, but all these guys, they all drank their first their first milk. Uh, all but two didn't drink their electrolytes. They all started to, but the two that didn't, I mean, they got about a quarter of it down, which I don't, I'm not going to make too big of a deal about it. I mean, at least
obviously did drink some of the, ele some of the electrolytes. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure there are people out there, but how many, how many people are really hungry just two hours after they just had supper? Well, I am, but that depends if I eat too early. update on the calves. Everybody's still alive. Um, had two that were a little under weather the first day, but they pulled through and everybody's eating good, drinking. Um, I'll give you a quick run through of the barn. Probably try to do it tomorrow. It's already late and I already shut the lights off, but I say I'll give you a quick run through of the calves that I got this past week. Today is Saturday. We'll be picking up some more this week. I don't know. Hopefully this is a good indicator of what's to come. Because these, all these guys have been doing really good. They're actually up waiting for me for their milk every morning and every night. So I got one that's kind of slow, but I'm also feeding him. bigger bottles as opposed to the one or half two quart bottles. This is a three quart. As far as bedding, I won't comment about that real quick. I'm using corn fodder. I'm just setting round bales at the end of the barn. But I've gone through a full bale already in uh, four days. But that doesn't include the fact that I already bedded half the barn down because I wasn't sure how many calves would expect that first day I went to the barn. I'm thinking anywhere between 8 to 15 calves a sale is pretty reasonable. Um, the cattle market crashed a little bit, the live cattle market had crashed. Which sounds weird for a farmer to say this, but I'm in no position to be selling cattle right now. So actually, I, it's not hurting me to see the market drop. I mean, if I could pick up a bunch of 30, 40, 50 dollar calves, it'd be great. So these last calves averaged about a hundred. The law of averages should work in my favor. I'm hoping to bring that down. I'm hoping to keep track of what my overall average is by the time I'm done buying calves. Like I've stated in the past, I flat out refuse to raise bottle calves or try to take care of babies while trying to do planting and harvest. You guys just see what's in the videos, but we're actually doing quite a bit of running around, panic, we're in the fall, so, especially a lot of days where we, we're gone at 6 in the morning and then we're not back to the main farm until 9 o'clock at night, and that's assuming we don't have any issues mechanically wise. Alright, I'm going to show you guys something that some of you it's going to be hard for some of you to see. For the rest of you, you're really going to like it. Here we go. We got calves. I got 12 so far. But they're all spoiled. Bedded down nice. I really like that corn fodder. Corn fodder works better than the straw because at least the fodder allows the manure and waste to kind of run down through it. The straw it would catch any of the manure, pee, poop. 
on top and I had to like this summer I was completely cleaning out the bedding and re-bedding them twice a day with fodder I only bed them maybe once every other day and the days that I don't I just go through and just kind of fluff up the bedding push it back but as you can see they're pretty content so they just got fed their milk about an hour ago and they're kind of chowing down on their calf starter right now something else they're doing too with this fodder that you're not seeing with straws they're actually chewing on the leaves so they're getting that roughage in them they say it's Sunday night and come Tuesday we're going to be buying some more so we'll see if we can get this barn full that's about all I can really do for an update on these guys right now. Sunday night, like I said earlier, um, last night we ended up getting some snow. Now it's not this holiday movie, nice powdery snow. It's a magical winter time here. It's that wet, slushy, snowball making snow. You know, the kind that you roll up a bunch of ice and rock and you fling it at your sister but don't laugh that's how my sister lost her front baby teeth so I'm gonna take you guys for a quick ride in the mule and I'm gonna go out and do chores <clears throat> ox beam makes a heck of a difference I know you guys can't see much but some of them say it's kind of neat I'm standing up here in front of the machine shed and that camera doesn't want to work for me. I kind of got an idea what I'm seeing. It's been, what, over two years now? Going on three? Since the barn has had this kind of look at it, look to it. And say the milk house has been kind of dark here ever since we sold the dairy cows. Believe me, I'm not complaining. I don't miss the dairy side of the operation but what we're doing now with the bottle cabs I enjoy doing that so 